Hello everyone, I'm Father Jim Phelan of the Family Rosary and I'm here to talk to you because Lent has begun and may perhaps wondering to yourself, well, how do I live this Lent? Haven't I been doing penance all these months already? What kind of penance am I supposed to do now? What is penance going to mean? Let's think about how to live Lent. What do our Lenten practices mean and what are they supposed to accomplish? Let's say it boldly. Lent is a time of discipline, spiritual discipline, and it's a, a time to embrace sacrifice. Sacrifice, the word means to make holy. So when we practice these sacrifices in Lent, the sacrifices which are helping us to develop virtue, we practice these sacrifices quite consciously, looking forward to Holy Week, and looking forward celebrating that Jesus gave his life for us on the cross, and that was truly, that was the sacrifice in the sense that he was the victim who offered himself in love to his Father so that he could save us. So our Lenten disciplines are meant to help us to grow in our love of God, to turn, to be converted, to focus on the Lord. As we talk about Lenten penitential practices, for many centuries in the church, we focus on three particular areas. One we call fasting, one we call almsgiving, and the third is prayer. Fasting is an, an ancient practice in the Jewish and the Christian tradition. It's interesting how something like giving up sweets during Lent. Giving up sweets is something symbolic. In particular, I have a great sweet tooth. Seeing how I'm attached to something small in my life gives me an opportunity to see my life in a bigger way so I can see the more significant things that I'm attached to and, and ask for the Lord's help to let go of them so I can turn my attention to Him and grow in love. While at the same time, we create a space inside of ourselves, which is a space for God. Fasting helps us to become more aware of our need for God. Fasting helps us to, to enkindle in ourselves a longing for God. The second practice that we talk about during Lent is almsgiving. Almsgiving is one word that encompasses many practices, many many ways of living love. Almsgiving is about generously and abundantly looking for ways to practice love, to practice the mercy of God, to practice the spiritual and the corporal works of mercy, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, comforting the afflicted, so many ways to reach out now in this world that, that, that there are so many people that are lonely, so many people that mourn. Let Lent be a time that you go out of your way to show the love of God to people who need it. Lent is a time for us especially to, to spend more time in prayer. Make time for what's most important, which is your relationship with God, and to gather your family together to do so. And being strengthened through our prayer, through our encounter with the Lord, then we will have courage and clarity to live the Paschal Mystery with Jesus at Easter, to live the Paschal Mystery with Jesus each day in our lives. The family is meant to be a reflection of God's love to one another and the light of God's love to the, to the world. Let this Lent be a time so that light of God shines more brilliantly in your home and from your home to others through the Lenten practices of fasting, almsgiving, and prayer.